Okay, so I don't generally make videos like this, and this is not going to be a regular thing on this channel, but I thought I'd try something new with this speed paint, because I've seen a lot of people I follow, um, I'll probably put their names in the description, uh, do videos like this where it's a speed paint and they talk over it. Um, I figured it'd be better than a regular talking video because having a speed paint gives the viewer something to watch while they listen to me ramble because I'm not very interesting. Uh, but I'm going to be talking about some tips for art that I've picked up over my nine years of drawing. Um, keep in mind, I'm in my first year of art school and or not art school, I don't even go to art school, I go to a university and I'm studying animation. Um, but I'm in my first year of education, so a lot of this has been either just learned along the way or I've learned it from other artists. I can't really call myself self-taught because I spent a lot of time looking at other people's art, but yeah, I'm gonna just do my best right now and give you some tips. So the first thing that I want to say about drawing is it's just like anything else. The more time you put into it, the better you'll be. Um, it's very similar to like a sport or something. Like when, when you start out with a sport, you're going to be very uncoordinated and bad and that's how it is with drawing. You just have to draw a little bit every day, even if it's hard, even if you don't want to. Physically force yourself to pick up a pencil and draw something. This will just help your hand gain a lot more dexterity over time. Also, if you want to be very good at drawing one particular thing, look at references and then draw that thing over and over, first using reference and then try to stylize it. Um, don't just right off the bat try to stylize the thing you're drawing. That's a big mistake that I made and I think I stunted myself as an artist because I didn't learn from looking at animal anatomy first. I learned from looking at other people's art, which had errors in it. So always look at pictures of the actual animal or actual thing you're drawing before you reference art because it will just help you in the long run to have a better understanding of musculature, anatomy, bone structure, such and such. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's a very good idea to repeatedly draw things. Um, I try to do studies now uh, to make up for that lost knowledge. I do animal studies, just do a whole page of the same animal. Uh, they don't have to be good drawings. I feel like something that holds a lot of artists back is that they feel that everything they create needs to be perfect. This holds me back. I feel like I can't post things unless they're completely finished draw for yourself first and foremost draw for yourself and then if you like it post it but not everything you draw needs to be posted you can draw as many bad things as you want it will help you along your way i promise just do a sketch a day even if it's on like a piece of paper from a restaurant just draw um Another piece of advice I have would be to watch art videos and buy art books. Even if you're not thinking about being a professional, if you want to do it as a hobby, you might as well be good at it. So yeah, just look up tutorials. There's plenty of free tutorials online. Uh, there's also, you can subscribe to this website called Linda and learn a bunch of software. There's free software you can download and that will just help you to get started. If you want to draw animals, the uh, Joe Weatherly Guide to Animals is a good place to start. You could also just buy one of those how to draw books. It doesn't matter what book you're reading from, um, just as long as you're reading something and learning from somebody. Um, because, yeah, I guarantee you, you'll improve faster if you actually read about things like perspective and anatomy and stuff. Um, one other piece of advice that I have is to know when to call it quits on an art piece. Try not to overwork your pieces. Uh, it's kind of hard to know when to just put it down and say I'm done, but usually if you start, you know, getting really sick of looking at something and you just hate how it's coming out, chances are you've just been looking at it for too long. So 
either step away and take a break from it or, you know, completely start over and trash that piece. Not saying you should, like, throw it out, but just don't work on it anymore. Um, what else can I say? Oh, yeah, this is a really good one. Um, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. It might not look like it for my channel, because I kind of have a brand here where I draw colorful animals, but for school I've had to step out of my comfort zone a lot and draw things that I'm not used to, and work a lot on perspective, which is something that I, I find challenging. Um, in order to get into any of these schools, you're going to need to show a portfolio that has a, a diverse group of work. It doesn't matter if you're like amazing yet, at least not for most programs, they just want to see that you've tried different things and that you're, you're not just like one kind of artist. So even though I wanted to be a digital artist, I applied to the college I did with traditional media, I applied with like charcoal, pencil work, uh, what else, um, watercolor, oil paint, and yeah, digital. I think I even submitted a piece of like sculpture at one point, like a picture. Uh, just read the portfolio requirements for whatever school you want to attend, or just look at some portfolios online and try to base yours off of it without, you know, blatantly ripping anybody off. Um, yeah, this will really help you in the long run, and you'll get a lot better. So, I think that's all I want to say for this video, and I think it's all the time that I have. I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble. Uh, I'm not a professional, like I said at the beginning of the video. Um, there are some other great art podcasts that I'll link in the description for you to listen to. If you found mine enjoyable, please leave a like or a comment and tell me uh, what I could improve about future videos if you didn't enjoy it. And, yep, that's all. Uh, have a good day, everybody. Bye!